19 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. I think it is now clear to everyone that I have a visceral passion for Christmas villages. Not just because I love the Christmas spirit, but essentially for the variety of tasks it involves creating a Christmas village. All along the project you are called to be a designer, an architect, an engineer, a plumber, a gardener, a painter, a bricklayer, a carpenter, a problem solver, and I am surely forgetting a lot more. But today I will simply be an electrician. I absolutely need to finish all the wiring because I am way behind the schedule and I should be focused on bringing more life to the village. I urgently need to start developing micro scenes around each building. Uh, welcome guys, and just a very very quick update uh, before getting serious with all the work I have to do today. Last time I ended my video showing you the digging for the fountain and in the meantime I've also completed the digging for the lake, the family chorus and uh, Santa's family uh, swing. Let me show you uh, where I am now. Here it is, uh, the lake. It is essentially uh, where I wanted it to be and at the height I want it to be. And I still have uh, some, uh, some thickness uh, to dig if I want to, but it has been a very long process because I was afraid to completely uh, ruin the um, styrofoam and have a complete hole there with the uh, lake plunging into the main water reservoir I have um, below the lake and this is for uh, the lake from the other side uh, let's have a look to the other side with the um, family chorus and the uh, Santa's family swing here we have the family chorus, let me just adjust a little bit the camera, here we go, oops, sorry for that, okay, it is at uh, ground level, it has been a very deep, deep uh, digging because it was uh, very high, but now the uh, family chorus is at the same level with all the buildings around and I've also started uh, placing all the cables here or the wiring but I still need to hide them and I will get serious with it in just a few seconds and uh, finally uh, Santa's uh, swing, Santa's family swing here also the same thing I've uh, digged enough to have uh, mm, it at the same level with the ground. I still need to uh, add some um, uh, paper uh, tape here, but uh, maybe it's not essential. I will fill all the gaps with uh, snow, and I also prepared the back ground, the, the back there for the uh, wiring. Now I must uh, concentrate uh, with all the wirings. <laughs> I need, as I just told you, to finish it. Uh, Today, yeah, the rock is missing because I've uh, just prepared it uh, for the two um, holes that I need to make into the rock in order to fix it in those two points to the styrofoam here and to the um, uh, to the river there. And uh, yes, uh, oh yes, I also added uh, some. Uh, uh, rock paper here that was still missing in this section there. Uh, let me get serious. I will not uh, talk too much all along this video. And uh, I think you are saying, finally, it will shut up for a long period of time. Uh, anyway, let me just start. 
uh, and I will have a final recap with you. Uh, but now I have 40 more or more buildings and everything else to wire correctly. Civil rights, you demand that I eternize your name. Walk ahead. You cover us in shame, and I take the blame. Living by the rules to which high school blues. Walk ahead. What I'm 
I'm supposed to do I can't help myself Little by little, pinch by piece I take it back what's been stolen from me Little by little, piece by piece Until I not yours If you know who I am I win the night For the first time, I kept my promise. All the buildings and everything else is actually on the layout is wired. And uh, it's almost uh, 3 a.m., but I did it. 
and uh, yes, oh yes, I let you see right now. Here we go. Everything is uh, lighted. And for a little test, let me just uh, switch off uh, the uh, light for a second. I've just kept one little light uh, switched on in order to <laughs> let you see everything. And now all the buildings are uh, switched on. And uh, I don't know if you can see down there, but the reason I insisted in having those little houses is that they have uh, optic fiber inside so in the background I have a very very good effect with all the um, lights changing color and uh, varying from white to red to green uh, purple and etc etc and this is the reason I wanted them absolutely and I'm sorry if I'm not talking too loud, but at 3 a.m. I risk to disturb someone, and the neighbors, for example. But uh, hey, uh, I'm still here, and everything is switched on. You can see that everything is finally uh, wired and uh, switched on. Uh, the windmill, everything, everything except for what needs to be uh, filled with water. The, pa the, the fountain, the lake uh, aren't uh, switched on, obviously, yet. Um, okay, uh, let me just uh, show you what I did. Uh, I just need to turn the uh, light on again. So um, the rock paper isn't uh, uh, at its place yet because uh, you can see that I still lack all the street lamps. Next thing would be to add the street lamps. Uh, let's have a look <laughs> uh, down below in the L of the wires. Let's go. Something has changed here. I don't have any more the mess I have previously. I just have some uh, wild bunch of uh, wireless cables, uh, power AC adapter, etc. etc. This is uh, what looks uh, uh, all the cables once I've connected them to the building. Uh, I don't risk anything because I've. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the battery just died abruptly on uh, me. Uh, I was saying uh, here. Uh, I don't risk any electrocution or power surge or anything else, uh, simply because I divided all the AC adapter in um, couples, maximum three for each uh, socket. Uh, nothing. Nothing else to say, uh, I still have some uh, space for adding the adapters uh, that will be needed by the uh, street lamps and something else if I need it. I have a total of one, two, three and four uh, sockets down there and uh, with two, uh, this one I don't count it because uh, it's uh, the train adapter so for the buildings I have two, five, seven, seven adapters and still have some place for the total of almost 50 buildings here. Uh, what I did precisely, uh, you have just seen how I uh, finished uh, um, hiding all the cables. 
So what I do generally with the wires, with the cables, with the cord, whatever you want to call them, I generally regroup them in groups of uh, three, four, five, maximum six uh, cords, and I use some old uh, um, net Ethernet net cable that I've uh, cu cutted in some pieces to uh, regroup them and to attach them to whatever I need to attach them. I split the 4.5 volts from the 3 volts and I use an octopus for a group of 4.5 volts then another octopus for, I'm sorry I call it octopus but it's the split cable I've shown you uh, some time ago and uh, I use uh, to call it uh, simply octopus and I use uh, them in different groups so I have here uh, groups for 4.5 volts, groups of 3 volts and in the middle I have the group of 12 volts because the little houses, even if they are little, um, with the optic fiber uh, needs a 12 volt AC adapter to, um, to, uh, to function so I've added all these things this is generally I proceed. So here I still have the uh, rock paper removed because I will need in the near future to use the same path to hide the street lamp uh, cord, the street lamp wire. <coughs> what I did there, because I have the railroad here, the cables are there and I've, uh, I, did, I did a hole here and now the cables are uh, getting uh, under the railroad for this uh, case. It's the first time I use the carriers there but I don't know if you can hear them. Let me just uh, bring the mic here. It, it is a very 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 <laughs> noisy double axle. Uh, it makes uh, some noise but it, it's the first time I use it I didn't know that. Uh, the windmill is uh, functioning let's go from the other side from the other side from the other side I've used this uh, little hole here to get all the uh, wires, all the cables uh, down to the uh, railroad level. <laughs> Obviously I have the railroad here, but here I have uh, some space between the pillars and the ra railroad so the cables can uh, fit uh, correctly there. Uh, I needed to go <laughs> to this point because uh, I don't know if you remember but I have already an hole there let me just uh, show you the hole here I have the hole uh, and I've, uh, <laughs> I've used it uh, even, th even this time to get all the cables uh, under the railroad and here we have all the cables under the railroad this is the power cord for the pump inside the main water container uh, those are 4.5 volts uh, uh, cords and I've used the same principle as before I have all them connected to the octopus and those are the 3 volts uh, cords still need to hide some uh, cables, yes but everything is uh, connected also the little lake is uh, functioning correctly and uh, if you want to see <coughs> correctly the fiber optic house just to take a look to the uh, to the branch of uh, this tree they are changing colors now they are red in just a few seconds they will change to yellow then green this is a very 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 good effort I haven't found anything like that, this is purple then blue 
I haven't found anything like that uh, recently. Those are from 2007, 2008, if I'm correct, uh, even before I started uh, creating uh, Christmas villages. And these are obviously too small for the uh, Christmas village and that's the reason I generally keep the, kept them in the background having some sort of uh, um, depth of view it's a pity uh, fiber op optic fibers uh, are very very pretty for a Christmas village the same thing for the little houses there they are changing colors I've uh, also I've um, repaired them many many times Originally they worked at 3 volts, now they work at uh, 12 volts because I added m some more uh, LED uh, L <coughs> flashing um, bulbs inside them to have the, this effect. And uh, yes, uh, the um, the fountain is functioning correctly, I've already tested, an awful sound came from the fountain just because I have absolutely no water inside. Every single shop is uh, lighted, I've just added some baby powder on the uh, lake because otherwise the friction will damage uh, all uh, the surface from the lake. So very useful is if you have a lake like this just remember to use some baby powder on top of it so from time to time to avoid the surface to be scratched by uh, the figurines uh, um, skating around and uh, that's all I've uh, did today it has been a very long day but uh, I wanted to keep my uh, promise and I didn't know that because it's the first time but inside the my blacksmith, the Bellows and Company blacksmith, I have a, a pretty effect with the light coming from ups. Oh, the signpost just uh, went down. I just needed to glue it back together there. I just need some uh, glue there. And uh, I don't know if you have noticed it, but when I was uh, digging uh, these, uh, these little hole here, my f old um, soldering uh, gun just died on me. <laughs> was, the room was uh, uh, full of uh, smoke. I, <laughs> I was frightened for a little moment because I didn't want to have uh, fire inside my room, but uh, no fire happened, so no nothing uh, very serious happened. I uh, just always have uh, spare uh, utensils with me so I just needed to get the spare um, soldering gun I had and I could finish uh, all my work. Sorry for that. It happens, it happens. Nothing is uh, permanent. And uh, that's all. Oh yes, um, I noticed uh, before when I switch off the light that the river section is very uh, dark uh, when it's uh, evening or uh, night so I probably need to add and hide some LED in some points under the, the bridges or uh, under some kind of vegetation. I still need to think about it. I also promise you to paint in the near future at these stairs there, these stairs there, and I still need to add two stairs from the left side here. Uh, one there to climb from this level to this level, and I will add something, uh, I don't know yet, some figurines or something else here, and then here in the corner another um, stairs to add access to this level and finally another uh, stairs there to uh, get access to the last uh, level and some more uh, stairs in the uh, far back there 
uh, still need some work to do I will probably do all these things during the week and I'll have you updated as soon as possible and the next step will be finally to create for each building some micro scene to uh, have the village finally getting life and uh, I will add a micro scene for each building here a general uh, micro scenes in the middle then some more micro scenes uh, there and all along it's the micro scenes that uh, bring life to your uh, village don't forget them and <laughs> I still haven't shown you all the figurines I needed to uh, put in place uh, and all the street furniture, all the uh, walls, all the uh, trees still plenty of things to add to the village but it's getting where I want it to oops, sorry, sorry, I'm tired, sorry 3 a.m. and I am here and still I, I still need to edit everything so for now guys thank you and uh, see you when I see you uh, no S see me when you see me sorry this 19th part of the series is most probably the less interesting for you guys I am sorry for that but it was a task I couldn't avoid it is part of the job for a while I will mentally divide the layout in many micro scenes and consider them words apart. This is the only way to bring life to everything. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.